ain't for no shoot and shit. Posting it on IG and FB. Not for them dumb niggas. It's your drunk or stupid. You move like you want that rum, nigga. Got bananas and drums for them big. Guns, not only for self-defense Sometimes I gotta use it as a deadly defense Just a force in the street codes I told y'all not to fuck up King G isn't playing in the streets of Detroit for the past four years or so But this morning a violent Detroit gang has been dealt a major blow Yeah, they're known as the Hustle Boys And in just a few hours they'll go before a judge 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live this morning with more on this Now Kim, this is a dangerous group that's what the FBI says a four-year investigation involving state, county, and Detroit police revealed. The FBI also says that this gang was based out of a Detroit home at Seven Mile and Hoover that the Hustle Boys formed six or seven years ago. And when they started, they were promoting events at nightclubs, but they eventually started dealing drugs like Oxycontin and marijuana. Here's a look at some mug shots released of some of them after a grand jury indicted 10 of them. Of the 10 accused gang members, eight are in custody and face a judge in federal court today. The other two are expected to turn themselves in. They're all charged with conspiracy and dealing drugs. This was an organization that did not uh, limit their criminal uh, dealings to the Detroit area. Uh, they often traveled out of state to sell drugs illegally, and uh, they also engaged in uh, acts of violence with other rival street gangs here in Detroit, uh, and they were involved in uh, shootings. The FBI says while taking these suspected gang members off the streets, they also took thousands of dollars in weapons and drugs off the streets, making us all safer. Live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kim. Here's some When I got my baby fold to motherfucking twin in this bitch, so I don't know if my guy was doing this. Motherfucking deal, shit, channel's popping. Yeah, man, you know, we had to come get an uh, interview with you, man. I heard you going in, man. What's going on? What's it all about? Is that true? You about to go on in the jail? Or yeah, I'm finna go in in a couple hours. I'm finna go to uh, Dry to Ohio and turn myself in. I'll be gone in a couple of summers, but I'll be back. I'll be back in a couple of summers. Okay, okay, so what, like a two piece then? Yeah, a little less than a two piece. Okay, alright, this was uh, this A little less than two years. I'm sorry, what the fuck you I knew Doug since he was a baby. Like, before we did, you know, hop in the streets, I knew Doug. You know what I'm saying? Before he was even a street nigga, I knew Doug when he was a kid. I don't, you know what I'm saying? All his big homies and shit is like my niggas. All his big homies like my right hand niggas and shit. So when he got out and shit, you know, that's just what it is. That's just that's just family. So we gonna make regardless. I'm about to be 29. You know, Doug only what 24. So you know, I got you know a little space on Doug, but Doug, my little brother. You know, we want it. Okay, so it's all family. Oh yeah, when I when I get out, I'm I'm putting the press down when I get out. I'm gonna hop in a whole different bag. Like right now, I can't gamble. I can't spend no money, so I'm gonna have a lot of money saved to the point where when I come home, I can just. Go at this shit how I want to go at it. So when I come home, I'm just go at this shit. You know, we gonna see what it is, you know? Go yeah, this, this your boy, that's your boy, Twin, nigga. You know, nigga ain't doing doing tracks, but you know, them guys get off them stacks. We done did that shit. All y'all fake-ass niggas that's out there rapping, acting like y'all doing this acting shit. Acting like that shit, man. We really live this shit for real, man. I want to... I want to say, hey, free all my brothers that's locked up, man. You know, hustle and real niggas do real shit, man. Real niggas hold up, fake niggas fold up. Real talk. My twin, you man. Know, all my brothers out there, y'all niggas keep doing y'all thing, man. Stay shitting on them niggas, keep y'all foot on their necks, man. You know, them niggas out there pussy, man. I ain't living this shit for real. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, man. Oh, the guy we have here is Martez Davis, a.k.a. 42 Twin. He got a twin brother. They both are um local rappers 
in the Detroit area. So this whole war got out of hand when this guy right here had encountered some of the Seven Mile Blood members at a parole state office on the west side of Detroit. So this hit list started circulating in the summer of 2014 when Billy Arnold and one of his associates had encountered the 42 twins, which are brothers. We could call them the Davis brothers for this episode. They had encountered them on Detroit West Side at a um, state parole office. And ever since then, it's been on. So this is the 42 twin video entitled Get This Money. And this video is Martez Davis. Unfortunately, his brother was incarcerated during the time of this video. His brother's name is Michael. According to the prosecutors, they both were members of the Hustle Boys. So, on July 14, 2014, the 23-year-old twins, Michael and Martez Davis, went to the Lawton Parole Office early in the morning. So, while the Davis brothers was coming back from the parole office, it was around 11 a.m., they had ran across... Billy Arnold, a.k.a. B-Man, a.k.a. Barenzo, the guy that you see in this photo right here. They had ran into each other on the west side of Detroit. By coincidence, the same day the 42 twin brothers from Hustler Boys was seeing their parole officer, Billy Arnold had to see his as well. So what ended up happening as it was coming from their parole office hearing billy arnold was going to see his parole officer when he had spotted the 42 twins from hustler boys he had called corey bailey aka cocaine sunny when cocaine sunny had arrived the 42 twins had fled into a car with other hustler boys including dewan page aka neff who we will talk about later when the hustler boys approached the intersection of Grand River Avenue and Oakman Boulevard on the west side, Billy Arnold and Corey Bailey started shooting at the Hustler Boys. While Billy Arnold and Corey Bailey were shooting at the Hustler Boys, Michael Davis was struck in the chest. Fortunately, he survived. Unfortunately for DeWan Page, a.k.a. Neff, he was shot in the left eye and upper body. Neff's eyeball was out of socket as he was barely alive. He was in a coma for several weeks before dying at the age of 22. Months after the shooting, Michael Davis testified twice in secret in front of a grand jury while he was in trial in January. Several months later in August, Martez Davis, who survived the shooting, was charged in a separate case for a firearm. According to an assistant U.S. attorney, Davis was suspect in the drive-by shooting that killed a rapper named Ray Mel Campbell, a.k.a. Mel, and Dominique Brown in July 2017 near Interstate 94 in Livernois, Detroit. The bruise to this shit. Real niggas ain't playing. They slap their clips in to get the spray in. I don't get close to niggas. I might have to kill you one day. Other than business, I don't have any friends. Fuck the world. It's only good for the ends. When it comes to that, motherfuckers pretend. I gave you a chance. Why you standing my head? But you bit my finger. Shock mode. Was my man when I was in danger, you didn't pick up the ringer. M A to the motherfucking D, the mad genius. If you don't subscribe, you a bitch.